Hey guys, today I'm going to make a custom dendroid of Musa from Wings Club. I'm Kyoko. Here are the parts that I used. The head, face and base are from the Nanoha dendroid, the arms, legs and skirt are from Mako and the upper body is from the AD training version. This is how all these parts look together, but let's start customizing. At first I took an X-Acto knife and sanding paper to get rid of Mako's belt and to create a smooth surface. Because Eli is the new dendroid and Mako an older one, the skirt and top didn't fit together properly. That's why I took some pliers and the X-Acto knife to cut a bit off of the shirt. Afterwards, I used sanding paper for the edge. Now these two parts fit way better, but there is still some excess plastic in the back. So I grabbed my trusty X-Acto knife again. Eli's shirt also got these wrinkles that I don't want from Musa's dress. Therefore, I cut and smoothed them as well. Musa's dress is transparent in the middle. To achieve this effect, I took some nail polish remover to get rid of the blue paint, because the plastic underneath has a light skin color. Here is how the top looks so far. I already removed the sleeve on the left side with the X-Acto knife to recreate the one shoulder look of Musa's dress. I had the same fitting problems with the arms and the top as with the skirt and top, so I used the X-Acto knife again to achieve a better fit. Now all of these body parts fit together nicely and we can move on to the hair. At first I took the pliers and cut off the bows from the hair ties. After some sanding they were nice and smooth. I used the X-Acto knife to shorten the pigtails and to straighten the bangs. The bangs are now perfect, but I still need to get rid of the hair strands at the side and on top of her head. So I used the same X-Acto knife and sanding paper technique again. This is how the hair looks now and I feel like Musa really begins to take shape. Now I started with the sculpting. I used Millie put, but I wouldn't recommend it because the clay was really crumbly. For the hair I formed tear shapes and cut the ends straight. Then I used some modeling tools to attach them to the head. This was definitely my least favorite part because the modeling clay wouldn't stick to the PVC properly. So I had to be extremely careful not to ruin my work over and over again. Next up I used modeling clay to recreate Musa's upper arm bracelet. Here is how that looks attached to the rest of the body. Afterwards I also added the flowing ribbons too. Here I had to be careful to sculpt them in a way that they wouldn't interfere with the base or the rest of the body. For the headphones I sculpted little circles and attached them to a thin modeling clay sausage with my tools. To get the right shape and size I carefully placed them on the head without pressing them on there. This way they could hold its form while drying and I could still remove them afterwards for painting or changing face plates. For the top I used thin plates of modeling clay and I tried to smooth them afterwards as best as I could. I struggled a bit with keeping the hole in the back clean for the base, so this part isn't perfect. Now I used some primer to prepare the pieces for painting. While they dried I used a folded piece of paper and sketched the shape of one of Musa's wings. This way both sides are symmetrical after cutting them. I used this paper stencil and traced it to the plastic window of Nanoha's box. Afterwards I cut out the wings and used purple metallic nail polish for the stripes. I painted the remaining part of the wings with light blue sparkly nail polish. The next step is the most fun part, painting. I used red acrylic paint for the skirt, boots and top. For the transparent part I mixed a lighter shade of red to match the color in the show. Because I couldn't find any purple acrylic paint, I used fabric paint for the bracelet and headphones. But it worked surprisingly well. To achieve the sparkling effect from the show, I covered the dark red parts in a layer of red metallic nail polish. I used an airbrush to paint the hair and then suddenly noticed I forgot about the bracelet on Musa's other arm, so I used some masking tape and simply painted it on. For the hair ties, I used the red nail polish again. To give the whole paint job a bit more dimension, I added shading and highlights to the bracelet and hair with pastels. Here's how the bangs look now, much more interesting. The last step was changing the eyebrow color to blue with a water-based pencil. Overall, here's how everything looks assembled. I really love the sparkly and shiny paint and I am extremely happy about how she turned out. Here she is and she's so cute. I'm so happy about how she turned out. Which character would you like to see as an android? Let me know in the comments and please subscribe to our YouTube channel, our Instagram and our TikTok. And see you in the next video. Bye!